One of the reasons that God finally puts us, puts our head on the pillow every night is we finally stop eating. There's a whole discussion around sleep. And let me just summarize it by telling you something that I never thought I would say. And that is, it's probably the most important thing you do. It trumps diet. When we go to sleep, yeah. What's happening, if you remember, every cell in the body needs approximately 1 billion ATP at any moment in time to perform all of its functions. Okay. Okay. So when you're in sleep, you're not eating. You're not eating, therefore you're not absorbing glucose. And we talked about the body as having a finite amount of energy. So if it's busy processing foods, yeah. then, it doesn't, then it's not cleaning. Okay. Because it has two functions. It processes foods or it starts cleaning out waste, right? So... So if we, look, if we had 100% energy, we'd say that the, the person eating anywhere from 70 to 80 to 90% of the energy is being used on digesting and processing and bringing it in and all that and putting it in the right place and all those sorts of things. And there's a little bit of being cleaning, otherwise you wouldn't yeah. survive. Now when you stop eating and there's less, and as it gets all digested and once all everything has been absorbed out of the GI tract, now the body starts to clean itself because it, it it now has that energy to clean itself. And why is it cleaning itself? Why would it? It's, there's a process that the, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded, I think, two years ago, maybe okay. three years ago, uh, for uh, a phenomenon that was identified by a Japanese physician, uh, a scientist, called autophagy. And autophagy, self-eating. And so what happens is when you stop oh. consume, consuming, uh, in fact, at nighttime you go to sleep, when you stop consuming, what happens is the... Uh, the lysosomes, which are other organelles, yep. they're, they're, they're the uh, recyclers. They're the garbage cleaners, yep. right? Yep. Pick up the trash. They go around and they find all the old mitochondria and they gobble them up and use them for energy. Because remember, we need to keep glucose. To, we need one glucose, six oxygen. Yep. So if you take all these worn out organelles and use them to produce energy to, keep, to maintain that. And so, uh, and of course, as it eats these old mitochondria, it stimulates the production of new ones. So you crawl into bed exhausted because now instead of making 38 ATP for every glucose molecule like you did in the morning, maybe at 9 p.m. you're only making 26 okay. or 27. You're just not, you're not making enough because your, your mitochondria have been beaten up by the free radicals, by the superoxide anion, and peroxide, etc. So now you go to sleep, all those old ones are eaten up and now you have all these brand new, your cells plush with mitochondria you jump out of bed in the morning. So, you know, how, where did now, you know, you're told you need to eat to get energy. Well, that's not true. I just went to bed. I didn't eat and I got energy. So, hey, how, wait, wait, what where were you saying, mom? Yeah. Hey mom, I, I didn't get that. You told me I need to eat for energy and I stopped eating and I got energy. How'd that happen? It happened because whatever you wait needs to be utilized. Yeah. And if you're busy eating, you can't utilize it. Right. Yeah.